Hi, Cougars. I'd like to look at day three of the transformation unit. This is unit 16 in geometry, and today we're going to talk about rotations. But before I get into rotations, I want to show you a couple of problems off of your homework and then do a bell work problem with you as well. So this is from yesterday's assignment, assignment 16-2, and it says write the translation in words and in symbols. Now it might be a little easier for you to tell on this rather than your, your homework because we have two different colors going here. But the key thing that, that you need to look at is this prime symbol at the top. And so you can see that here we have an H and here we have an H prime. And this is really important because the H is the original position and H prime, the one with the apostrophe after it, that's the new position. And the reason this is important is because we've got to figure out how to get from H to H prime and not the other way around. So in words, when I start at H, the first thing I'm going to do is go left two. And we like to talk about left and right first and then up or down second, and that's because X comes before Y when I write my coordinates. So we go left two and then down one. And I know this one's a translation because my figure looks like it's the same shape. It's not turned or flipped over, uh, but you could check another point as well. Maybe I'll check W to W prime and see that I went left two and down one. So in symbols, that says we're gonna take the XY coordinate and we're going to translate it into x minus 2, minus 2 because I went left 2, and then y minus 1, and it's, again it's minus 1 because I went down 1. So that's how you would work a problem like number 6, and I really wanted to point out the difference in the h and the h prime to make sure you're looking at it the correct way. Now let's look at one like number 8, and what I would encourage you to do is label these points, at least for my discussion here, I'm going to label them A, B, and C. And we want to reflect it across the y-axis first. So I'm reflecting it across this vertical axis, and then I'm going to translate it. So I'll reflect it first, and I see that A is 1, 2 away, so A prime is going to be over here, and then I'll go B is 2 away, so that's going to be 2 away this way. And C was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like this, and I can connect my dots and see that it looks like that. It's just reflected across the axis. And so now I want to see what would happen if I translated it to the left 2 and up 4. So this a, this this new a is going to go to the left two and up one two three four. So this point here is my new a prime. Do the same thing with this second point with this b point. So I go left two and then up one two three four. So this point is b prime. And then this last point this c over here I'm going to go to the left two and up one, two, three, four. So this point is C prime. And if I connect my dots here, I'm gonna use blue this time, then I end up with the final answer. Some of you may like to use a double prime, um, and that's fine as well, that the first time I moved it, I just use a one, one apostrophe and the next time two, but this, new blue figure is reflected and then translated. So I've drawn it on there so we can see it. So now I'd like you to look at this bell work question. And I would like to change this bell work question so that this right here is y minus 5 instead. So I'm going to put minus 5 right there. That way it fits on the graph that I've got. So I'm going to translate it to the left 4 and then down 5. So A goes left 1, 2, 3, 4 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point right here, A prime. 
B to the left, one, two, three, four, and down five. One, two, three, four, five. You might not make these little marks on your paper like I'm doing. You might just put the corners. I'm just doing that so you can see what I'm doing on this video. To the left, one, two, three, four, and down one, two, three, four, five. And it's right here. And it's a translation. So I'm hopeful that my figure looks the same. And it does. So there's my new triangle translated to the left four and down five. Now today I want to talk about rotations and you can see from this picture this R has just essentially fallen over. It's fallen over and this is actually clockwise. I'm going to make a note of this uh, so you've got this on your paper. Let's get rid of these things here. Oops. So this is clockwise 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees because of that little thing right there. I know it went 90 degrees. And it's clockwise because it's going the direction that the hands go on a clock. So that's clockwise 90 degrees. A rotation says all points of a figure move a specified direction around a fixed point. That's this point right here by a given angle such as 90 degrees and so we're just rotating the figure now and it's going to look a little bit different in how I write this so I've got this first example and it says I want to do a 90 degrees clockwise rotation that's what that's what that means now for this particular one I'm going to write the points a b and c first so a is 2 1 B is 2, 5, and C is 5, 1. Now, these are a little harder uh, to come up with on your own, but I think you can see how it's going to work. I'm going to write the rule, this rule right down here, 90 degrees clockwise rotation, and that's going to take my X and Y. It actually flips them and switches the sign of the X. Okay, so we'll see how this works. So A was 2, 1. See right there, it says 2, 1. So A prime, I'm going to switch the numbers, and I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to find the opposite of that one right there. So my new A prime is 1, negative 2. That's this point right here. And you'll see how this works when I finish this. So on B, I'm going to flip the numbers. So I got the 5 and the 2 there, and I change the sign of that second one. And then C, I switch them and I change the sign of that second one. Now, I should have drawn these. B prime is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2. And then C prime is 1, negative 5. And what we've got here then is this triangle. And perhaps you can see that it's rotate that is rotating clockwise 90 degrees. Let's look at another one. This time I'm going to do a counterclockwise rotation. So that CCW there means counterclockwise. So a counterclockwise rotation is going to rotate this way. And the translation is negative y, x, negative y, x. So my points here again are 1, 2, sorry, that's not right, 2, 1, and then 5, 1 for C, and 2, 5 for B, just like we had back here on this problem. But now I'm going to flip the numbers, I'm going to switch the places of the numbers, and these These numbers here are going to change their sign when they move over here. Okay, so these numbers are going to stay the same, and they're going to appear here. But the Y values are going to move into the X location and change numbers. So these, again, are staying just like they are, 2, 2, and 5. But the other ones are becoming 
negative 1, negative 5, and negative 1, switching their signs. So if these numbers up here had been negative, then down here I'd have positive numbers because they're going to switch their sign. And so let's graph them. A prime is negative 1, 2. This is A prime. B prime is ne negative 5, 2. And C prime is negative 1, 5. And so when I connect the dots here, I hope that you can tell that triangle is rotating counterclockwise. Now I've got one more type of rotation I want to look at. This is the 180 degree rotation. If we thought about you rotating 180 degrees, you're now turned around facing the other way. And so that's the same thing that's going to happen with this triangle. I've got the same points that I started with. So I've got 2, 1, 2, 5, and 5, 1. But my rule here is that x, y is going to become negative x, negative y. So it's obviously real important to have these these uh, rules written down so you'll understand what's going on here. So now the numbers are going to stay in their same relative location, but they're going to switch signs. So these are going to stay here, but they're going to change signs. And these numbers are going to stay here because notice that the y's stay there and the x's stay there, but they're just going to change signs. So this is going to be negative 2, negative 2, negative 5. Negative 1, negative 5, negative 1. And so what we have here for A prime is negative 2, negative 1. That's A prime. For B prime, we have negative 2, negative 5. So this is B prime. And for C prime, we have negative 5, negative 1. That's here. And so I think you could see that this is my new triangle. I'm going to try to show you how this will rotate on this smart notebook. It's not perfect here, but you might get a pretty good idea. So I'm going to trace over this. And this one was B. I'll just label one of them. And what I can do in smart notebook is I can grab hold of this and I can rotate it right here. It doesn't rotate really well around a point. It's rotating around some point in the middle of this box. But I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees, which means this little green dot at the top is now going to be at the bottom. And since I'm rotating it around this point, I've got to move it a little bit and see how that's going to look. But it's going to look like this. We'll just send it back. No, hang on. There we go. So I can now show you what would happen. See, it's the same shape. It's just shifted over here. If I could rotate it around that that origin, it would actually work that out right, and I could show you exactly how that is. But that's what's happening. It's rotating, and it's rotating around the origin, so 180-degree rotation does that. So I'm going to go back through these rules with you real quick. 90-degree clockwise changes like that, so my y values moved over here, and they stayed the same. But my x values moved over here, and they changed their sign. So there's the rule for the, count, for the clockwise. Write that down. Here's the rule for the counterclockwise. And then here's the rule for the 180-degree rotation. So let's look at this real quick and see if we can, can summarize this on this page. So the 90 degrees clockwise rotation, and I think it might be a good idea if you wrote that little arrow right there in case you don't remember what that is, is y negative x. The clockwise rotation is negative y x. And the 180 degree rotation, they stay the same, but they flip signs. So we'll see if we can use these rules. The rule is y negative x, negative y x, and negative x negative y, just like this. So on the first one, they're going to stay the same. They've just rotated around 
the origin and nothing changes right there. But now things get interesting. So on the next one, and I'll do this column first. So I'm going to flip my letters and change the sign of the X. So I flip this and change the sign of the X. Or on the next one, I flip them and I change the sign of the X. So now it becomes positive too. Or I flip them and I change the sign of there. Or I switch them and I change the sign there. Pretty easy to, to get this backwards if you're not paying good attention to it. All right, so now let's do this next one. Here, I'm going to, again, I'm going to switch my, my numbers into a different order, but I'm going to change the sign of the Y. So I'm going to make this negative 3, 2. I'm going to make this negative 3, negative 2. Notice I'm changing the sign of that Y value when I move it to the front location. This is going to be 3, 2, and 3, negative 2. And finally, for this one, I leave them in the same order. The X still comes first and the Y is still second. I just switch the signs. So this is going to be negative 2, negative 3. Or 2, negative 3. Sorry. 2, yeah, 2, negative 3. Switching the signs on both of them. Negative 2, 3. 2, 3. It's pretty easy to get these things confused. Be very careful as you're following those rules. Give great effort. Rewatch the video if you need to get some more ideas on this. Ask your teacher for help. We're happy to help. And good luck.